Adele, and I'm from South London in the UK, and I'm a singer, and this is my guitarist, Ben. It leads nowhere. I did some gigs at school when I was from like 14 to 16. Um, but the gigs, the first gigs away from school, like, which was kind of just me in front of people that I weren't in class with, they were quite daunting. It was just packed with industry, like my first four or five gigs. Um, and they all just stand there. Like, they, even if they love it, they don't even clap, but just stand there like that and like scratching their skaggy beards. <laughs> I've never played a gig to kind of like people that, that, that really didn't care if I was singing or not, you know people who had their back to me on at the bar. I've never had to do a gig like that, luckily. Usually you do, so I'm very grateful that I never had to do that. <laughs> Paul McCartney's is my favourite Beatle, and he's a Beatle anyway, let alone even if I hated the Beatles, he's a Beatle. And Bjork's my favourite, like one of my favourite female singers. The kind of artists that I like, uh, they're chart music, you know, so who's in the top ten, there's no heritage or history in my family of music, so it was like... Spice Girls and Britney Spears and NSYNC. And to be like them when you're like nine or ten, it seems like it's never going to happen. The Brit School is very laid back and it's, and it's people who really want to do it. Amy Winehouse, Kate Nash, a band called The Feeling, The Kooks, Kay Melua, Leona Lewis. Lots of people have gone there. The teachers are great. And, and waking up and going to school every day with a bunch of kids that all want to like, do something productive is an amazing feeling. Doesn't come that easy, actually. Um, I, I can write in bursts, and something has to really affect me in order for me to write about it, um, and I have to believe myself when I'm singing or when I'm writing words. And it's usually heartbreak that helps me write. I used to impersonate other people, like Etta James is my favourite singer, and Roberta Flack and Ella Fitzgerald and Jill Scott and Mary J Blige. And I wrote my first song when I was 16, and I noticed how my own voice kind of came in, and I started thinking about the song and not just singing the song. Give in to my pretending. In the UK, about a year and a half ago, for like two years, it was dominated by indie bands. And I love indie bands, yeah, but I don't think it was a sexist thing, but there was such a lack of girls and women in the industry because that was the kind of music that was taking up the scene. And I think each time a new girl comes out, people are like, what, another one? And they listen to you and they like it. And I just think there's room for us at the moment. And I think that we all represent something that hasn't been represented for ages. You know, we're not kind of, kind of tacky, tango, brown, white teeth, blonde hair, big boob, small feet, women. <laughs> it's about my singing and it's not about kind of what I look like or what I say or what clothes I wear, you know, it's, I really want to be a singer, I'm not a trendsetter and, and I really want that to carry on and be the case for my second, third and eighth album, you know. Yeah, I hope I always enjoy it, to be honest, and I just want to keep making music, I just want to sing. Yahoo!